Hi guys, this is Sadef from Problem.com and in this video, we'll show you various methods through which you could get unlimited free Google photo storage on any Android phone. So we'll share both the root and the non-root methods and along with that, the caveats and the perks that you will be getting with each of these methods. So first and foremost, go through the drawbacks and the benefits and only then try out the method which is in sync with your requirement. So just to roll back a few years, up until Pixel 6, we used to get unlimited free storage but Google then took away this feature and as the time of recording this video, the Pixel XL is the only phone that gives you unlimited storage. So in this video, we'll be spoofing or faking your phone to the Pixel XL which in turn will give you the unlimited storage as you could see in the screenshot as well. And your Pixel will then be shown as Pixel XL and you will get unlimited free storage or in original quality, the photos and videos will not be compressed. So in this regard, I'll show you both the root and, and the non-root method. First off, let me show you the non-root method. In this regard, the easiest but the most technic but the most effort taking is the one which involves simply making a new Google account. So as you might be aware, if you make a new Google account, you will get 15 GB of free storage space. You may use that space everywhere across the Google apps such as the Google Drive, Google Photos, Google Docs, YouTube, everywhere. But you may just make a new account and use that account just for the sake of Google Photos. Making the account is quite easy. Just go to the settings menu and over there you, sh you should see the Google option. Go to Google and sign into your new account or make a new account or go to account section, add an account. Likewise, you may also make a new account from the web page as well. However, making new account for the sake of 15 GB will take quite a lot of effort and managing all those accounts is no, no easy task in itself. Even I don't use this method, but since it's the most easiest one and does not require any root, that is why I have discussed this. If you only require 30 to 40 GB, then you may make a couple of new accounts and then get the job done. But for more storage space, let's move ahead with the next step. So next step require you to use the revanse Google Photos. The major issue with this is that you will be using a modified version of Google Photos. Likewise, you will have to sign into a modified GMS, the Google, Google mobile service, which is so if it's fine with you that you have to sign into the modified GMS service, then I'll show you how to get this job done for the sake of uh, convenience and more importantly, to be on the safer side, it's recommended to use your secondary account and not your main account since we are, are logging into a GMS service which is not the official from Google. So use your secondary or any testing account for this service. So with that said, let me show you how to get this job done. This tweak does not require root and will work across all the Android phone. So just give me a second. Let me use it on a Pixel phone. So first and foremost, you will have to download and install the GMS core app. So all of them are on GitHub. You may go through the source code as well and verify if everything is wor working well and good or not. So once you have got the GMS core, you have to install GMS core on your phone as well. So just give me a second. It should be somewhat here. This is the GMS core app. So here it is. This is also known as micro G. Let me open the link and show you both of them are the same apps. So this is the you have to download the signed version and not the Hawaii version. If you are having a Hawaii device, then you may use this for all the other phones. You have to use the normal signed APK file. So download the Revance Android GMS and install it. Once you have installed the service, you will then have to launch it and it will take just a few more seconds. And after launching it, you will have to sign into your Google account as well. So first, let's wait for the app to be installed. In some cases, the app might take a few extra seconds to be installed. That is not a cause of concern. And with this, we are now inside the micro G settings. So go to Google accounts and add tap on add Google account. Now add your Google account by tapping on sign in. And let's now type in our email ID and the password. So let me give it a few more seconds. So guys, as you could see, I have just added an account over here. It's just a normal test account. Once the account has been added, go back again, go back. And now you have to download the Vance G apps account, which is the revanche Google photos app from GitHub. So get hold of the APK file from here, the Google photos Re revanche APK for most of the Android phone. It should be ARM 64 only. If you're not sure, you may install the CPU Z app from Play Store and have a look at the CPU architecture. Most of the new Android phones have the ARM64. Some old Android phone might have the ARM V7A, but for now it's the ARM64 only. So now install the, install the Google Photos Revance app and tap on install. 
And if you have an existing Google Photos app, it might replace it with this one. Now tap on open, allow all, you might get a prompt, it's asking to run in the background. This is extremely important, so tap on continue and tap on allow. And the app will now run in the background, although this will lead to additional battery drainage, but this is a must. So once that is done, you may simply now force stop the Google Photos app if it's running in the background and relaunch it. The icon is the same, as you could see, it's the same old icon, but in fact, this is the new app. If you go to the app info page of this, then you could see it's from the revanced Android photos and not the original Google photos. It does the app icon is the same. Now, if you launch the Google photos app, turn on backup, get started and enabling the backup is extremely important. Otherwise, this feature will not work once you have turned on the backup. Now tap on the icon and as you could see, this pixel can backup unlimited photos and storage and video at no charge. So your phone is now a Pixel XL and you could now download and upload unlimited Google photo storage, unlimited files to this Google account with no issue whatsoever. Just keep in mind that this is not the official Google Photos app and this is not the official GMS or the Google mobile service. So always use a third party account and uploading private photos might be a cause of concern. That is why I usually only use the screenshots for work purpose, which is such as the Android phone screenshot and as such, which are not that important. And also I'm using a testing account, but still we have ob obtained our objective of getting unlimited free storage from here. But if you don't want to take this approach then and you want to stay on the safer side, then let's move ahead with the third method. In the third method, you will have to take a more technical approach, but it's less effort taking and it's somewhat safer than the second method. So in this approach, you will have to flash a custom ROM. More importantly, please make sure go through their change log and make sure that they have the unlimited Google photo storage. Nowadays, most of the custom ROM have this option inbuilt. You just have to enable a toggle and the task stands co complete. The only drawback or th rather the biggest drawback with this method is that you will have to unlock the bootloader and unlocking the bootloader will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. So if that's well and good, you could refer to my guide. I have made numerous guides and videos are there also on my YouTube channel across, I guess over 250 videos are there. As you could see, you may refer to my video and the guide and install the custom ROMs. First, go through the feature list of the custom ROM. In, as per my knowledge, the Evolution X and the CR Droid are, are two custom ROMs that have this feature built in. So you may use these ROMs for flashing. There are no universal steps, but generally if you're using an AOSP recovery, which comes with the custom ROM itself, such as the Linux OS recovery, then you could Flash the recovery in the recovery partition. If your phone has a recovery partition via fastboot flash recovery, recovery IMG, then reboot to recovery via fastboot reboot recovery, then do the format data and sideload the ROM zip file. Again, do the format data and reboot to system. In case you have a TWRP or Orange Fox recovery, then again boot to fastboot via same method, flash the recovery via the same method, and then you have to format the data, flash the ROM zip file normally, and again do a format data. So, again, always you have to do a format data before. And after flashing the ROM, whether it's the AOSP recovery or WRP recovery, and then boot to the OS. Once you are inside the OS, the feature location might vary depending on the ROM which you are using. So for instance, I'm using an Evolution X Android 15 ROM. So irrespective of the phone which you are using, the ROM features will be the same across all the phones. This is an Evolution X ROM. So over here in my case, I have to go to the Evolver, then go to miscellaneous component spoofing and over here, you will have to enable the toggle next to Google Photos spoof. As you could see, I have enabled this. This will spoof your phone to the Google Pixel XL. Always keep in mind that you cannot spoof your phone to two different pixels. In most of the custom ROM, you also have the option for the pixel props and spoof tensor features. So for instance, if you enable the pixel prop, then it will spoof your phone to the latest Google Pixel, which is Pixel 9 Pro. But your phone cannot be a Google Pixel 9 Pro and the Google Pixel XL at the same time. So only spoof for one phone. For me, the Google Photos is the main objective. So I enable this as a Pixel XL, even the Snapchat spoof also does the spoof to the Pixel XL. So you may have it enabled because it's the same phone, the Pixel XL. Once you enable this, you will also have to remove the data of the Play Store. It's not compulsory, but it's highly recommended. So go to storage and cache, clear storage, delete, and then restart the phone once. So let me do that as well. You have to re restart to the OS, a system UI restart will not get the job done. So enable the toggle, then remove the data of Play Store. You may remove the data before or after doing a restart, but it's recommended to do the wipe before doing a restart and then restart your phone. Do note that 
when you delete the data of place so of the google photos it will not remove any of the sync data the sync data there on your cloud and not on the phone so that will remain as it is without any issues so with that said let me now have a look at the feature whether it's working or not this is the google photos app and again make sure that you have enabled the sync feature it's already enabled here and as you could see the account storage is unlimited so i don't have to worry about anything this pixel can back up unlimited photos and storage at videos at no charge so my phone has been spoofed to a google pixel xl and i don't have to worry about anything whatsoever the only drawback with this is that you will have to leave the stock ecosystem and go to a custom rom but if you don't want to leave the stock ecosystem and stay on the stock firmware then in that case you will have to opt for the root method in the routing method you just have to flash a magis module and your task can complete so but as you might be aware routing your phone will also might lead to the plane ticket fix issues although we could flash the module the pia module or upload a custom json file to pass a plane ticket but that requires quite a lot of effort though it is, it is achievable you may even pass a strong test as well using my guide and a keybox xml file but for some of you this might be a difficult task but if that's well and good then simply root your phone via magisk in this regard you could obtain root via two methods if your phone came with android 12 or older version then you have to use the boot img file on the other hand if your phone came with android 13 or higher version then you have to use the init boot img file so in my case my phone came with android 13 it's the oneplus 11 so i'm using the init boot img file then patch the file via magisk and flash it via fastboot command i have made a video and the guide is also there you may refer to my guide and the video for example this the patching is same for both the stock boot and the init boot once you patch it via magisk then you could flash it the flashing command is different for both of them that is quite obvious in case of magisk patch you have to first use the fastboot boot magisk patch command and then do a dialog install from magisk in case of init boot you have to flash it in the init boot partition and get the job done in my case let me first show you i have already rooted my phone via magisk once you have obtained root you will now have to enable zygisk on your phone as well so go to the settings menu of magisk and enable the toggle next to zygisk it will ask you to do a restart we will not do a restart now we will do a restart after flashing the module so now download the free unlimited google for cloud backup magisk module from this link it's there on github download the zip file from here and transfer the zip file onto your phone apart from that you may also use the unlimited google photos backup mod or the g photos mod as well any one of these three mod will work then you also have the pixelify module this is quite a nifty and handy module and it has quite a lot of features for instance you could see this is a list of all the features in the pixelify module but this module will only work till android 13 but for now i'm using an android 14 and even android 15 is now live so this module might not work in android 14 and 15 so that is why i'm showing you the above module this should work these modules should work on android 15 as well once you have got the module on your phone and you have enabled zygisk let's flash it as well so go to the module section tap on install from storage choose the module which is this one tap on okay and the module is now flashed finally tap on reboot or do a remove data from google photos app as well so let's do that app info and let me go to storage usage manage space delete so now once that is done you may now reboot your phone this will take around 10 seconds at the very max for the phone to reboot and once the phone has rebooted you should now get unlimited photo storage as well so let me have a look at that if you are not able to get the job done using this module you may also use either of the two modules any one of these three will get you the free storage or apart from that if you are using android 13 or older version you may also use this module as well in fact i made a separate video on that as well so you could check out this video and get the job done so there are quite a lot of modules anyways our phone is now in the os and let me now have a look whether we have got storage or not so launch the google photos enable sign in to backup okay so just a minute i have to sign in to my account as well this will take just a few seconds so i have added the account let me turn off the turn on the photos backup give it a few seconds for it to load up and once it's loaded you could then verify the result as well so, so now let me launch the app and have a look so it's now up and ready so now tap on the your icon name and as you could see 
account storage. This pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos at no charge. So we have got unlimited Google photo storage on our phone. And this phone has been spoofed to a Google Pixel XL. So guys, these were the four different ways of getting the job done. So just a quick recap. The first one is just simply make a new Google account. You will get 15 GB of free space, but you will have to keep on carrying out this task every time you want free space. This requires quite a lot of effort, but will get the job done without the need to root or unlock the bootloader. The next method is to use a Revance Google Photos app, which is a third party Google Photos app, but will look like the exact original app. Likewise, you also need to log into the GMS, the GMS core, which is officially not from the Google. So this might be a risky approach, but will again get the job done because since you are signing to a third party Google service, your account might be at risk. So please move ahead with caution at your own risk. Then apart from that, you may, if you are a developer or you want to tweak with the OS, you may leave the stock ecosystem and go to a, a custom ROM like CR Droid or Evolution X. And you will just have to enable a single toggle and then you will get unlimited photo storage. You no longer have to do, even the routing is not required. Just enabling the toggle will get the job done. But again, you will have to leave the stock firmware and go to a, a custom ROM. And in case the custom ROM is no longer being developed, then it might lead to few issues. So in that case, your last course of action is to obtain root on your phone via Magisk. Then enable Zygisk and flash any one of these four modules, the free unlimited Google Cloud Backup module, unlimited Photos Backup mod, G Photos mod, or even the Pixelify module, which will work till Android 13. So flash any of these module, remove the data from Google Photos app and enable Zygisk as well. And after that, you will get the unlimited storage. But the drawback with this method is that you will have to root. And when you root, you might fail the plane ticketing test. So you will have to pass the test using quite a few methods, although these methods are available, but they are quite complicated. So guys, with that in mind, I round off this video. Do let me know which of the methods you are opting for. And if you have any queries with regard to any of the steps, do let me know in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching.